All right, so I've been on a Ninjago kick lately, thanks to Brickfair and some really nice Ninjago fans, and I want to catch up on the TV show. I do have some of the DVDs, but uh, I thought it might be easier if I just, you know, check it out on the Xfinity. So, Lego Ninjago. You do a little voice command thing there, and it brings it up on the screen. So, um, okay, six episodes. Uh, I don't know if that's a mini series or something. Possession, 10 episodes. This one says 78, but if I scroll all the way down to the beginning, first episode, it says it came out in 2019. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why they would do that. I know it definitely did not start then. Uh, rebooted, 8 episodes. That doesn't feel right. They got Rise of Spinjitzu, 14. They got... The Hands of Time, 10 episodes. Tournament of Elements, 10. So it's like they've divided some of them in different miniseries and some of them not. I'm really confused by it. Uh, I'm just going to look a little further. Yeah, it doesn't make it any clearer. Because they just got... Yeah, the Rise of Spinjitzu through there. Oh, Journey to One. Yeah, i got to watch that at some point. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one episode? What do you mean, one episode? What? I thought, I thought that was the name of the whole show. And then Skybound, it says ten episodes. Yeah, so it's like, I guess some seasons are divided, some aren't? I don't know. So let me check out the DVDs. Passers and Spinjitzu, so that's like the series season zero. It's basically the 2011 sets. And then season one and two, which are 2012, I believe. I think so. Uh, series three, or season three. I don't know why they divide them into uh, DVDs sold at different times. They should have bundled them together. Hell, they did that with this one. Why couldn't they do it here? So there's a part one and a part two for some reason. I don't know why. I don't have a season 4 DVD. I don't even know if it's readily available. And by this point, years later, probably not. I have season 5. I have season 6. And I have Day of the Departed. I don't know if they even made DVDs beyond that. Because by now, I think they'd be on at least ninth or so season. Unless there's other miniseries things in between, and again, I don't know the distribution of them in DVD form beyond that. So I guess uh, my choice is pretty much the Spongebob musical or any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. Which this was a pretty good deal, five movies for ten bucks. When one of the movies was only eight bucks, and the other three compilation was eight bucks, so it's like, yeah, okay. I have no idea what I'm going to watch, so see you later.